What's up YouTube, it's your boy Fluid Ace, again back with another YouTube video for Season 1 Reloaded, and it's been a while, the nerf to the MTC is coming tomorrow, for the patch notes I will get to those tomorrow, but right now we're just going to give a brief update of what's sort of coming next week in terms of Season 1 Reloaded, and sort of what's entailed, what's arriving, what's new, um, and yeah, so I'm very very excited, um, Sledgehammer has been gone a while. It feels like a long time, but we're back, boys. We're back. So we're going to get into it. But before we do that, are you excited for the game? Are you excited for Season 1 Reloaded? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff so that we can sort of just get into it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And yeah, um, let's get into the first thing. So we have the new map, Rio, Core. I think Greece was a good playthrough i liked it so um hopefully uh rio plays a little bit the same way it looks like a good vibe time so i'm i'm glad uh there's a new mode uh team gunfight i want a team gunfight where you pick your loadouts in on the smaller maps but this is gunfight on the bigger map so it is what it is so basically as you can see here experience gunfight basically on a larger map on the 6v6 maps and it's not what i wanted but it's okay the next thing we have are the new modes. So Headquarters is coming, classic OG map. I love Headquarters. It was one of my favorite, favorite maps, favorite, favorite modes, sorry, not maps, modes to play. And yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. It's gonna play super, super OG. It's just gonna play super well. And then we have Infected. Infected is pretty cool. I hope it plays a little bit better than last year's Modern Warfare. That one was kind of weird. So I'm not really, really into that. So yeah um we'll see but next thing we do have is a new bundle for the boys and there's a limited time event i did not see a camo so i'm kind of bummed out about that i think we might get a camo but i didn't see anything um so basically here are the challenges challenges for the new map and um yeah uh, i think it's gonna be self-explanatory i hope we get something good and if Next we have ranked play. Ranked play is here guys and I'm excited. I'm ready for the grind. I'm ready for the everything pretty much. I'm just ready. So basically I'm just gonna skim through it a little bit. Ranked play is basically you have to become level 5, 55 before you can play. Skill divisions. Basically all that same stuff as last year. Um, hot streaks. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I want to know what more they're gonna do. Maybe they add a couple interesting things so i think note that sr penalties will result in inactive disconnected from matches and engaging in friendly repeated friendly fire so now you can be kicked for repeated friendly fire i think that was i think that was from before but who knows i'm excited for it who knows what's gonna happen i hope you guys are ready for your grind i'm gonna be grinding i'm i, I got hard stuck plat three so i'm trying to aim for diamond or crimson I'm gonna be grinding. I have all the time in the world now. So yeah, I'm excited. We're just gonna get into the details of it. So basically we have ranked play modes and maps. We're gonna sort of see how that works. So we have search and destroy, hard point, control, basic general things. So we have high rise, invasion, Karachi, skid row, terminal for search, uh, invasion, Karachi, skid row, sub base, terminal for hard point, and control i don't really care about it but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep vibing with that we're gonna keep vibing um here are the general things that you can get for the rewards and the skill division rewards sort of seeing that i don't think they have anything too too good right now it's season one so that's why i don't see any photos if there was photos there would definitely definitely be some sort of like skin or something that they would have been showing but everything's basically season one fresh no need to i'm not really expecting any too much extreme rewards but yeah let's get into zombies next so for zombies it's pretty self-explanatory i think we get a new warlord warlord yeah i think i said that right and pretty much basically what we're dealing with is just you get a new like place to attack so yeah basically an exclusion zone south korea duck cubby i don't know what that means I've seen the word before, don't know how to say it properly, hopefully I didn't butcher it, but um, yeah, this is her, basically you fight her, 
and I think she's on the top of one of the towers and you just basically go up and fight her. I hope it's interesting and intriguing because I still have to do my uh, camel grind for that. Videos will be coming soon. So I'm going to be probably trying to, I'm going to check it out while I'm doing my grind or finishing my grind. So yeah, that sounds interesting. Next, we're going to get into Warzone, I think. Yes, Warzone. Basically what you all are here for. What's the news? What's happening? Uh, I think it's generally, it's going to be a fantastic year. So we have Champions Quest, Night Vision Gulag. You can grab weapon caches now for some reason, and you can exfil. So I don't know why we're exfilling in Warzone. But that's a quite interesting, interesting, I don't know why, but let's check out the champion's quest. Basically you have this. I'm not going to lie. I like the skin. I have not been able to get a champion's quest. Unfortunately, I'm going to be grinding this year, but let's check it out. Next, we have the Gulag event. So night vision Gulag. I like that they didn't put this in the starting. I like that they didn't put this to start. But they're adding it so that's cool i vibe with that then we have caches basically you can gear up with massive caches i hope these have good good weapons in them or meta weapons or hyper versions of weapons and the next you can expel in call of duty in call of duty warzone i don't know how i think they put it in there for the dmz boys we don't rep them so next we're getting into the weapons so we have this hm hrm9 submachine gun it it looks like a very very good weapon so light yet stable nine millimeter close combat putting out down quickly it looks like this will probably be our new close range meta weapon i i pretty sure swarm's getting old let's throw this up there and get it started next we have the tack evolver i don't know what that means but it's a new light machine gun and basically it's chambered in 762 and you can make it 556 but basically this is going to be the new meta for the lmgs i hope it's the same as attack eradicator and i will be grinding these two on basically my zombies to complete the mastery and then the, here's a bundle for the a train i will not be getting this here's the, the boys for the new character that's coming in season four that's pretty awesome that they're sort of previewing it in a game but I'm excited for that. Not really gonna buy either of them. Then we have out of combat CDL stuff. What's happening there? Boston's doing their breacher. So that sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it. So here are the team sweaters. I'm personally gonna cop a Toronto Ultra one and a Carolina Royal Ravens one because I like blue and Toronto Ultra is my home squad. Shout out to them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm excited. Are you excited for season one reloaded? I feel like this feels like a season two mid reloaded or season three mid reloaded, but it's really season one. There's so much more content we have, plus the new game. I'm excited that we're just gonna be we're just gonna be jam packed. I can't wait for, for to see how this is implemented and what they have going forward with rebirth, Wando. But like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and enjoy the vibes. Peace.